Hey guys and welcome and thank you for joining me for today's shave. So first of all, as you guys can see, I am in a different bathroom. I know over the years I've been shaving in a lot of different bathrooms. I've taken you guys a lot of different places. Uh, nonetheless, hopefully this one is temporary. So as you guys know, uh, my wife and I and toddler son are right now living in New York City and currently going on right now is the uh, coronavirus pandemic, uh, which has had many, many implications on the city. Uh, I am an orthopedic surgeon. I'm currently in my last year of training. I'm doing a fellowship right now in knee and hip replacements. And obviously right now, society does not need knee and hip replacements as other healthcare needs. So um, our hospital and my services have been redeployed to kind of more generalized internal medicine uh, care. So that's what I'm currently doing, helping take care of COVID patients. And as part of this, you know, I'm very, very thankful to my hospital. They have provided those of us with families, you know, if we're living with someone else at home, alternative housing arrangements. So I'm currently living in kind of like a long-term stay apartment building right now, away from my wife and kid as I'm taking care of COVID patients. So they're not at an increased risk. Um, so nonetheless, this is the bathroom I'm in for now. Uh, and I'm in some of my time right now, some of my days off in between being at the hospital and uh, wanted to make a shave video. So here we are. So let's go ahead and get started. I have four days of facial hair growth here. Um, when I go to the hospital, I shave every single day. Um, I've been bet off the past couple days and I'm just, I don't know, haven't shaved on those days. I've had other things to keep me busy. Um, so I have four days of growth. Otherwise I'm shaving uh, every single day, right before I go to the hospital. So that N95 mask fits on perfectly. So I've got four days facial hair growth right now. Just got a shower, facial hair is nice, cleaned out, hydrated, ready to go. I'm gonna show you what I'm shaving with today. So the first thing is the brush I'm gonna be using. This is the AP Shave Company. This is a 24 millimeter Sinbad knot in one of their emerald handles. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this synthetic knot. Very, very soft tips, good backbone. Kind of has all the properties I like and I love 24 millimeter knots. Those seem right in the middle of the road for me. Um, you know, above 24, you know, some 25s, I like, I mean, I do like using very large and very small brushes, but you know, if I had to pick one to go with, it'd be a 24 millimeter. And above this and get big and below this and get kind of small, it doesn't hold lather as well in my opinion. So 24 millimeter knot, love it. Gorgeous handle, very, very easy to use. I'm gonna be shaving with the Phoenix Gondolier. This is a new tub for me. I've had it for a little while. I've been shaving with it, but I don't think on camera. It's their newest formula, the CK6, which is really incredible. I've noticed that this is definitely um, softer, so I did not bloom this ahead of time because when I bloom it, I tend to use a lot of the soap, which you just don't need. This stuff lathers like crazy, and the lather is, so you still get that like thick, cushiony protectiveness, but it's so slick. I'm really, really enjoying this soap a lot. And then the gondolier scent, which is, uh, as you guys know, one of my all time favorites. And for the razor today, this is a new one for me. It's from West Coast Shaving. So it's a new head uh, by West Coast. It's actually made by Charcoal Goods for them. It's called the Live. It's closed comb, very beautiful. You can see here, it's kind of triangular, kind of cool. I don't know, I like that. Beautiful chromed head, mirror finish, really gorgeous. And this is on a West Coast shaving uh, stainless steel handle. It's called El Capitan. I don't remember the exact price of this, but it's uh, but it's very, very affordable. Not expensive at all. And this is loaded up with a fresh feather blade. I know it's gonna, I'm gonna need a little bit of extra cutting power to get through this four days of growth. So let's go ahead and get the uh, face lather going. Nice thing about synthetic brushes, you don't have to soak it ahead of time. So I'm just getting it wet here in the sink. Ring it out a little bit. I'm gonna leave a little bit extra water in here. I didn't give it as big of a ring as I normally do because this soap is not bloomed, which is what I'm used to doing. Um, but if you do bloom your soap, you have the water on top of the puck. So, uh, so you need a pretty dry brush when you're going to load. All right, now yeah, that's plenty loaded up. I'd probably overload it, nice pastiness. You can see all the bristles here sticking together. That's what you're looking for. This is actually overloaded a little bit, but that's fine. All right, I'm gonna get my face wet. It's plenty. Let's start this face lather. Thank you. 
So this is very, very dry. I think you can see here, it's just kind of patchy on my face. It's also getting stuck between the hairs, but it kind of has a yogurt consistency, which is too thick. That's not what you're looking for, but this is easy to adjust. You know, if you start off in your brush, if you're either face lathering or bowl lathering, if you have too much water and not enough soap, that's pretty hard to recover from. You know, you gotta get rid of the water, load up more soap, it becomes a little bit more difficult. This is a pretty easy scenario. Just having too much uh, soap in here, you just add a little bit more water, a little bit at a time, and you'll get it. Uh, you'll get it fixed. So that's looking good right there. Um, so I'm definitely gonna need a lot more water because that's still slightly on the drier side. Just adding a little bit of uh, water here to my brush. There you go, I'm happy with that. Nice, beautiful lather, very easy to work with. I definitely like this formulation. In my opinion, it's the best one Phoenix has had. But I think that's pretty true of uh, all these different artisan soap makers out there. As their formulas continue to change, they tend to just get better and better and better. Um, not to take away from what Phoenix has done here, this is an incredible formulation, I really love it. All right, so let's go ahead here and get started. First pass, always with the grain for me. I'm gonna line up the razor here, make my sideburn get the right angle, get going. This razor is definitely heavy. Um, these stainless steel handles have a ton of weight to them. I like it. I definitely like the weight. I think it helps you add an appropriate amount of pressure to your skin. Um, that being said, I'm just not really used to uh, shaving with a stainless steel uh, razor, so I'm definitely getting used to the, the feel here. This razor handles beautifully. You know, I haven't noticed any um, weird tendencies with it. Obviously, I feel comfortable with it because I put it in a feather blade. I'll only do it with uh, razors I feel good with. That being said, this is still a newish razor for me. I don't have a ton of experience with it. I've been loving it thus far. That's why I have a feather in here, but I'm just being a little bit careful with this as I'm navigating some of these uh, harder areas to shave for me, like underneath my my jaw here, as well as my neck. So I'm just taking it nice and easy.
first pass feels good. Definitely mowed down most of this. I still have a few little areas here and there. Um, four days of growth is a lot to get through, unless I'm using a really aggressive razor or a slant or some sort of open comb. I really don't expect to get down all the way, obviously. I still got a few little areas I can feel, but most of this is gone. You can see it, this already looks great. Oh, got myself right there a little bit. Oops. Um, anyway, I think that that handled great. Felt really, really nice. So my face is wet and cleaned off. Now I'm just gonna apply a second lather here. Just nice and light. I'm just getting a little layer of protection between the, uh, the blade and my skin. All right, second pass, gonna go cross grain this direction. And this uh, collaboration of razors from West Coast Shaving, they actually have three different razor heads out. Um, they have two closed combs, one that's more aggressive, one that's kind of medium aggressiveness. This is the medium aggressiveness one. And then they have an open comb razor. Oh yeah, that's really brilliant. Feel my neck, that feels good. A little bit right there. All right, I'm gonna be done shaving my neck, but I definitely wanna go over, oh, the top's feeling great. That cross grain really cleaned up all those areas. A little bit left here under my nose, but really sitting in a good spot. All right, <clears throat> third pass, I plan this to be my last pass. I'm gonna go cross grain this direction, just on the top of my face. I'm happy where my neck's at, so I'm leaving it there. Oh, that's great. That's actually awesome. The, uh, the edge of the razor is not far away from the edge of the razor head. The edge of the blade is not far away. So it was really easy. I, I definitely struggled to get some of these hairs underneath my nose, but especially with a feather blade in there, it just gets right there. And yeah, that's it. That feels perfect. No struggle there. Oh, I got my mole there. That's what it is. I was wondering why that was bleeding so much. Yeah, I nicked that. Oh, well, that happens from time to time. Just going to feel around if there's any areas. Feels excellent. Excellent. Very happy with my neck. Everything's gone underneath my nose. Yeah. Uh, right there. Perfect. Happy with that? I'm calling it.
All right, film back here. Great shave. Oh, I left some lather there. Oh, behind my ear. Okay. Got it. Okay. Yeah, this feels excellent. I'm really happy with that shave. It was very, very comfortable up here. I obviously got my mole here. That's gonna be bleeding. I don't have my little alum stick with me or the styptic pencil, so. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, whatever. That's just gonna bleed a little bit. I should maybe get a piece of toilet paper put it on there. Clean up the area. Stick on a little piece. Sorry, you guys gotta look at that. I obviously try not to uh, cut myself when I'm uh, filming, but it's just the reality of it. It happens from time to time, especially when you're learning a new razor. You know, this razor, I really, really like it. One thing that I should do, I don't have it here with me right now, excuse me, <clears throat> but is a different handle. Now this handle is, is heavy on here. I'm just not used to doing that. So it's a little hard to exactly suss out all the details about how this razor performs because the head feels like it performs great to me. I love this handle. I love the shape of it. I love that it's a little bit wider. I love that shorter. It's it's really great. Like it, it fits nicely in my hand and you guys know I like shorter razors. Um, but it, because it's stainless steel, it adds that extra weight. So all of a sudden what you're used to putting, if you're using a light razor and go to a heavy razor, the amount of pressure you're used to putting on your skin is gonna be changed because the razor itself due to the increased weight is gonna be putting pressure on your skin. So, you know, I'm still figuring that out here. What I definitely need to do is to get a different razor handle and put it on this head because I love this head. Um, and I like the handle, it's just like a little bit hard to separate. There's a lot of variables happening right here for me. I obviously don't have an extra handle with me right now, but I'll, I'll see if my wife can get me one. Got a few extras sitting around back at our apartment. Um, anyway, but I like this. Handle's great, beautiful head. I like the design a lot. In terms of aggressiveness, I'd say this is a little, a little bit more aggressive than my Mercore 34C. Um, you know, it just has a little bit more, it feels like there's a little bit more blade exposed in there. Um, anyway, it's, uh, that's just what it is. You know, I like it though. It, it, it feels great. Um, one thing I was just noticing here is that even though I took a quick glance and it looked good, the blade was sitting in here a little bit askew. Um, and without the blade tabs exposed on the side right here, you have a really hard time adjusting that. Um, I just loosened it up and retightened it and it sat perfectly. Um, so that's just something to look out for in every razor that you use. Um, I have kind of become adjusted to using razors. I know how they perform, like the Mercor 34C. I know how it sets a blade in there. I know how I grab it every time. This one, I'm still getting all the details worked out about how it works. Um, but I'm sticking with it because I really like this razor a lot. Um, anyway, I saw that I was sitting in there a little bit askew for that shave, so that might account for um, this because I might have hit that on the more exposed blade side. Anyway, um, I like that. I love this brush, um, this shaving brush by AP Shave Co. This emerald handle, synthetic knot, behaves beautifully or performs beautifully. Um, you know, I, I really like it a lot. You can see, let's check out the lather left in here. Holds lather really nicely. This is this uh, CK6 formula from Phoenix. Beautiful, that's at the end of a shave. Lots left in the brush and still is nice peaky, nice sheen to it here. Really, really happy with that. And the scent is awesome, great. Just put lather on my nose. Um, yeah, I really like that stuff a lot. All right, so let's go into the, uh, my post shave right now. I've been sticking with this routine for a couple of years now and uh, I'm, I'm really happy with it. There's a lot of awesome uh, post-shave balms out there and uh, aftershaves, but you know, I really like this if I'm not looking to add a scent to my face. This routine seems to work nicely. Uh, this is the Thayer's Witch Hazel, Witch Hazel Original that does have alcohol. I like using alcohol-based aftershaves. Uh, I used to stay away from them, but they don't seem to, uh, they seem to add to my post-shave quality. Yeah, no burning across my face here. That feels excellent. I put on a ton there. I'm gonna dab a little bit off. Yeah, 
no burning. So I know that this was a close shave from what I can feel here, but it wasn't too close that I was irritating my skin because I'm not getting any burning. Then we go to the Nivea Men Sensitive Aftershave Balm. You guys know I like. This does have a little bit of scent to it, but it's very mild and uh, just kind of smells clean. I don't know, kind of blends in with uh, anything you're, you're wearing. Just smells kind of clean and fresh. I like it a lot. All right, so that was today's shave. Um, thank you guys for tuning in and watching. And uh, yeah, if there's any products you want to see, let me know. Obviously, my uh, selection right now is pretty limited. Got a hair here. Sorry, it's bothering me. Got it. Um, yeah, I brought a couple shaving soaps with me, a couple brushes, and one other razor. So I'm going to be cycling through those, making some videos here over the next couple days while I'm in isolation in a one-bedroom apartment. <laughs> for the foreseeable future. Not an ideal situation, but nonetheless, no, I'm really grateful to have this opportunity. Um, it sucks being away from my wife and my son right now. Uh, that being said, I'm just, I'm really grateful that I don't have to go home every night and, uh, you know, give them that extra exposure. Uh, you know, there's a, plenty of healthcare workers throughout the city, country, throughout the world that don't have any options uh, available to them. So they are going home, they're putting their families at increased risk and, I'm just I'm really grateful that I have this opportunity so I'm trying to stay uh, stay grateful for that on a daily basis anyways thank you so much for watching and if there's anything you want to see please let me know